So, um, what was it like to work with Philly the Six Man? I know that's your homeboy and everything. Yeah, Philly was cool. Philly was mad professional. Like, like read his lines. Like, we were like, bugged the shit out of me for real about the shit. Like, <laughs> Philly was wild professional. Philly a good nigga all around though. Like, whatever you need him to do, whatever you need him for, you know. So it was cool. Like, he took it serious. He he look at it like, that's my man. Well, you know what I mean. He took it serious because niggas don't know like. Philly Road wasn't even supposed to be that. Philly had like an in and out road. But one of my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of my niggas, they don't get it. You know what I mean? But a lot of my homeboys, like, that was supposed to be one of my man roads. But to me, he wasn't taking it serious. So I scrapped it and I gave Philly that whole road. Because Philly was taking even that little part that he had while wow, serious. So I'm like, word, like, fuck it, do this. And I sent him the whole script. So Philly, that's cool. Like we had a ball when I was coming. I was at the premiere. It was sold out, star studded. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful thing. So when you got back home that next day, mm -hmm. how was that next day after a sold out show? It was cool. Um, that night, I just walked around the hood. Out on Remy Martin, yo, just soaking it in. Like I just walked around. Like damn, that's what's up, man. 250 people, in a 210 seater. We had a ball. No drama, no nothing, you know. I ain't even know half the motherfuckers did like. So that was good. But the next morning, it was cool. I just woke up to a whole bunch of phone calls and texts, but other than that, just back to being a dad, regular shit. Regular shit. You know. So no plan B was a success in the box office, as I say. No plan B two. Right. Can you give us give it oh shit. No plan B two. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a sneak preview of what that's gonna be about? Yeah, um, so we got, I got No Plan B2, got a mixtape, uh, this is Jewel, you know, releasing it right now, uh, next project called So Help Me God, it's the name of my next tape, you know, probably tell the truth, the whole truth, not but the truth, So Help Me God, so, So Help Me God is the next joint, and it's the next, name of the next movie, honestly, you know, it's like No Plan B2, So Help Me God, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, it's cool, um, some of the same cast of new people. Um, crazier story. Um, it's a continuation. But it also, um, it comes on, when it comes on, it kind of explain and backtrack. On, um, kind of come on like a prequel to where explaining how I even got to where I got in the first one, to where, you know what I mean? But it's a real good story, you know what I'm saying? Um, we got Chloe in it, we got Cherry in it, Philly in it. We still got my man Iceberg in it. Um, we got a few new people in it. Um, Queasy in it. Young Mean in it. Um, just a few other people. But other than that, just the same. You know, it ain't broke, don't fix it type shit. And um, it's just mainly about me. Um, it's a lot of twists and turns and joints in this one. Because the first one, that was more like a, uh, I look at the first one like just a big ass EPK. You know what I'm saying? Like just a big ass, like get to know me type thing. So now this one is more like 75 to 80 percent factual and 20 to 25 percent entertainment. You know, it's like it's a little more entertainment. You know what I'm saying? So like it's cool. Like you know what I mean? Like get a Chris and come back. You know what I'm saying? And it's 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 tight though. You know, trying to um get the business straight with Pill Brothers. These niggas them. Got this expensive on the side. We got to make that work. This nigga like Michael Bay right now. So like a this nigga. I want to go back to like one of my favorite, I say videos. I want. I always want to ask you, White Zones. Mm. What inspired that? And who was those little kids jumping around like they crazy? They rocking. Well, I um, White Zones. First of all, the beat came from my own, my homeboy Skitty. He made Chris Brown like that, walking on blog, no stuff. He produced, I think, 17 out of 20 records on the mixtape. You know what I'm saying? But um, White Zones just came from just, you know, how I was living, you know. But he had sent me a beat. And at the time, like, he the type of dude that, um, Every time I come over there for a beat or something, he might be making it. I'm like, yo, it's done. I'm stay up in my right zone, my right zone. I'm going off just to keep the lights on, the lights on. Keep my babies with some nice on. Green ounces, white zones.